Welcome back. House Speaker Mike Johnson unveiling plans to attach the SAVE Act to a potential continuing resolution. Uh, of course, that's CR to avoid a partial government shutdown at the end of this month. Uh, he did so during a lawmaker only phone call yesterday. I've reported this many times that the speaker is trying to attach the SAVE Act to a CR. The vote on the measure would likely come next week when lawmakers are back from their August recess. If passed, the SAVE Act would help secure the upcoming election by preventing non-citizens from voting. But the Senate has not brought it to the floor for debate. Majority Leader Chuck Schumer told Fox News Digital this statement. As we have said each time we've had a CR, the only way to get things done is in a bipartisan way. Joining me now is Texas Congressman Chip Roy. He says American voters care more about having a secure election than the politics of a potential government shutdown. Uh, good to see you, Congressman. Thanks very much for being here. So are you saying unless the SAVE Act is attached to the CR, let the government shut down? Well, that's always a question that the uh, pundits, with all due respect, and what the uh, uh, swamp folks that uh, work with in Washington talk about. People that I represent, they want a couple of things. One, they want us to fund government responsibly. So that's point one. We should do a continuing res resolution that goes into 2025, that gives the pen to Donald Trump instead of to our Democratic colleagues who have no interest in the priorities of the people that I represent. And the second thing that we should do is secure our elections. And the SAVE Act is the merger of two problems. One is our concerns about election integrity and the wide open borders the Democrats have been using to exploit uh, the, the borders for their political gain and their, thereby endanger the American people, but importantly, endanger our elections. Texas just cleaned off 6,500 non-citizens from the rolls. Virginia cleaned off 6,300 non-citizens. Ohio's done it. Other jurisdictions have done it. And here's the point. Those people can vote in close elections. Georgia was within 10,000 in 2020. Al Franken won a Senate seat by 300 and something seats. We have got to do our part to secure the election. And this is the last point I'll make, Maria. If we want to win in November, our people need to have faith in the elections. I hear from my constituents. They tell me point blank, you need to secure the elections. This is one way we can do that. And why would we give Chuck Schumer the pen in December? Mike Johnson is correct to put a continuing resolution into March, give Donald Trump and Republicans the pen, and let's make sure we save our election. Yeah, no, I understand what you're saying. And I agree, this is probably the most important issue for certainly for Republicans, and that is to secure the election, ensure that only American citizens are voting. Uh, so I, I get that. Uh, but Chuck Schumer won't have it. Right. I mean, and then and, and a minute ago you said, look, we should not be doing a CR. Well, then why do you keep doing one? What's the problem? Keep doing a continuing resolution well, I, every six months. What's the problem? The problem are Democrats in Washington and swamp dwellers who can't do the right thing for the American people. Conservatives last year in the speaker's fight set up a construct. We got seven out of the 12 appropriations bills done. We processed more amendments than we processed in decades. We processed 1,500 amendments over the last two years. We have five of the appropriations bills passed this year, but we can't get the bills across the finish line because Democrats don't believe in America. They don't believe in security. They believe in drag shows instead of our national defense. They believe in funding abortion and abortion tourism around the country. So Republicans are having the fight the American people want us to have. And I'm actually, frankly, sick and tired of conservatives, including some of my Freedom Caucus colleagues, who say, oh, pass the 12 appropriations bills. Well, no crap. That's what we're trying to do. But we can't get it across the finish line with recalcitrant Democrats. So when we face the funding bill in, this, in, in September, we should pass the CR into 25, take the pen out of their hands, and then jam them with the SAVE Act because the American people care about it. It will then be up to President Trump and Mike Johnson to figure out the politics of October 1st. If a shutdown will help us elevate the message and fight and fight for the SAVE Act, we can do it. If, it. if it doesn't, we can take the CR into March, fund the government, go campaign and go to the American people and say, you know what? We fought for you. Democrats stopped it. We're going to take the pen in March and we're going to advance your priorities. Yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense. But uh, why why won't the Democrats accept the SAVE Act? Uh, tell me what the SAVE Act does that's not being done now because you've got several states cleaning out their voter rolls, right? You've got Texas, you've got um, uh, uh, North Carolina, you've got a, a whole set 
of, of, of uh, states right now uh, trying to clean up the voter rolls and, and, and removing anyone who is not eligible to vote, including non-citizens. So what does the SAVE Act do to uh, that's different than what we're seeing right now? I, I guess it's just Republican states. And why won't the Democrats bring it to the floor in the Senate? Well, Democrats won't bring it to the floor because it would work. And they want illegal uh, folks to vote. They want non-citizens to vote. Uh, let me explain the state of the law. Take Arizona as a good example. Arizona passed a law that said you have to check citizenship, documentary proof of citizenship, if you register to vote in Arizona. The problem is the courts, the federal courts said, hey, you can't do that for federal election. So Arizona has two different systems. They check citizenship for state and local. They are prohibited from checking a citizenship for federal. That's the state of the law, and it's terrible. Mm. So while Texas has cleaned off 6,500 and Virginia 6,300 and yeah. so forth, we could clean off thousands more if we could actually force the question. Yeah. This is common sense, and it polls at 85%. Yeah. The fact is, Democrats okay. want to fight tooth and nail to continue to have fraud in the elections and allow non citizens to vote because they publicly said. They want non-citizens to fill their coffers yeah. and, and allow them to have more voters. And uh, for debate uh, around China, looking to curb the ex existential threat from communist China. I know last year you introduced two bills to counter China. One of them intended to crack down on China purchasing U.S. farmland. What should we expect yeah. from China Week, sir? Well, I know that the speakers put forward legislation. We're trying to make sure it's clear that we believe we should be standing up against China. Uh, I've been able to go through every bill that he's put on the floor, but I can tell you what my message is in introducing a bill to say, look, we shouldn't have Chinese communists owning American land. I think we should have an outright ban across the country. I think we have a, a more modest version of that on the floor next week. I think we should be more aggressive. And I think we need to massively change tax policy to incentivize manufacturing to come back to the United States. China has 35% of the manufacturing in the world. We have 12%. Look, the reason we won World War II was not just the great patriots who stormed the beaches in Normandy. We won World War II because we had supply chains and the ability to manufacture and beat uh, you know, the tyranny around the globe. So let's make sure right now we push back on China. The third thing we need to do is extend into and dominate the Western Hemisphere. We need to have policies that get China pushed back out of South America, Mexico, and Central America. And uh, so we'll have some policies next week. I haven't looked at every bill. But I know that's the message that I'm telling to my constituents. All right, Congressman. A great conversation. We so appreciate your work. We'll be watching it. Thanks very much. Take care, Maria. We'll uh, look forward to the job report getting amended uh, in a week or so.